Welcome everyone. I know guys, I know, I miss Smackdown, but I wanted to enjoy Smackdown myself. I wanted just to purely go there and just watch Smackdown. Sorry. But now it's Monday and it's Monday Night Raw. And it also ups and downs. I always do it in the right direction. Okay, let's just dive in and see what happened on Monday or yesterday or whatever whatever this time we switch sides so Seth Rollins started the show and he went out and he said that the US title is the title of the show and all that shtick and after that Bobby Lashley came out and he said that he's gonna beat Rollins every week until he gets his title back and after that Mustafa Ali came and he was mad because Bobby Lashley costed his chance for the US title. And basically that resulted in a match between Mustafa Ali and Bobby Lashley. It was a squash match. The whole thing's get a nup. I, I'm not that invested in it, I admit. It's a little bit of a down, but I see what they're doing with the Bobby Lashley character and I kind of appreciate it. I don't appreciate that we are just burying Mustafa Ali, but, but that's why it's an up because I believe in that story and I believe that at the end Mustafa Ali will get everything that he deserves and Bobby will get everything that he deserves. We had Mia Yim and Tamina. Tamina? What? And she lost? What? And Rhea was a ringside and they didn't do shit? What? Down. Matt Riddle and Chad Gable? Up from uh, the backstage segments, we understand that Matt Riddle and Elias are teaming up against Alpha Academy for now, but I guess they're gonna be teaming up for, uh, for a couple of matches. I'm kind of happy that they're giving a couple of wins to Alpha Academy so they can be more credible. After that, The Miz came out and he tried to apologize about the fact that he didn't pay the extra Loomis and he made that uh, stupid charades and theater story and stuff like that and after that Johnny came out and he said that the miss is not sincere and he's lying and stuff like that and at the end the best bit the best bit of all that i really like and i'm really excited about after two weeks miss and dexter loomis will have a match and uh, if dexter loomis wins he's gonna get the wwe contract which is great so up dominic mysterio and shelton benjamin down the whole segment started with Benjamin giving an interview and all of a sudden then Dominic and Priest came from his back and Dominic said that Benjamin is a loser and that resulted in a match. I'm just sad because Shelton Benjamin keeps losing and he's really a loser but I don't want to be him to be a loser if you know what I mean. Io Sky and Dana Brooke down. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just skipped it. I'm not invested. Why Why did we have that match at all? Dove Ziggler and Austin Theory. Oh, Austin Theory, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Austin Theory was the highlight of, of the show. Dove Ziggler and Theory started with Theory giving an interview about his money in the bank cash in and he was saying basically that uh, he had no freaking chance with cashing in on Roman, so that's why he decided to cash in on Rollins, but Bobby costed him the championship, blah blah blah. And after that, Dolph was like, you didn't listen to me, kid, and that's why you failed. And then they had a match. But instead of Theory getting the victory like a normal match, he decided to beat up Ziggler. And I really enjoy that part of Theory because Theory now is changing his character on his entrance to the ring. He didn't bring up his phone. He didn't do any selfies. He's more ruthless Theory. I like that change about Theory. I'm really excited to see what he's going to bring in the following weeks. Baron Corbin versus Akira Tozawa. Up. It's not, it was not a special match. It was nothing spectacular. But it was super fun. Like everything started in the backstage because Baron Corbin and JBL were playing poker with random people. And all of a sudden Akira Tozawa came out and he was like, I want to play poker with you. After that, we understand that Akira Tozawa took all, all of the Corbin's money and he challenges Corbin to a match. Akira Tozawa didn't win, but I'm really happy that he's not in the 24-7 championship picture. 
and he was amazing in the ring. We finally saw Akira Tozawa have a normal match because it was not exactly a squash match like Corbin's previous matches. Good stuff. The main event of the night, Angelo, the main event hater, gives an up. Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor, it was just a pure joy of a match to watch. Like, I cannot exp express to you how much I enjoyed that match. But a few things happened, but they're not going to change the score for me. So, in the middle of the match, the Judgment Day came out and they tried to help Finn. But after that, the OC came out, they just stopped the Judgment Day. And after all of that chaos, Seth could finally beat Finn with the stomp and and he retained the US Championship, but after the match, Thierry came and he squashed Seth and he made his finisher like three times to set. Great stuff for Thierry, it was a great match. I tried, I tried to uh, give my honest opinion about the show, but if you guys don't want it, it's not my problem. I'm not here to sell you cookies. What am I talking about, bro? The show gets an up, I really enjoyed it. I, I think you can enjoy it as well, if you give it a chance. Except the bits that I gave down. You know, like, who, who enjoys that? Downs. If you want, I can do a YouTube series, Downs. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I see you soon.